hello and welcome back to the channel and as promised i'm bringing the remaining disney sources arena expansions this time the one called turning the tide which includes moana or viana uh, lilo no sorry stitch and david david jones right david jo oh it's upside down so uh, david jones exactly so it's a very small box as you can see it only includes uh, very few components so as mentioned in other videos i'm trying to understand if i should keep all these boxes for collecting purposes or if everything would fit inside the base game so i haven't decided that i will think after making these videos but yeah as you can see this is the manual only well, it's not this game is not like a match where every expansion is standalone you need a core box to play this so it only brings the the new components and the new characters and um here there's a new status effect coming from stitch yeah stitch here no punch bags all damage this character would deal to a rival stitch is prevented so no punch bags this stitch becomes immune to that character oh so speaking about stitch let's see what we have here let's see if we can start with stitch but everything is falling out i really don't like these inserts because as you can see some cards get stuck there i cannot take that card out yeah i need to put my finger behind it and pull it this way okay and i guess the main <laughs> the main selling point of this game you should know it by now is these acrylic figures like this yes so that's Mohana there with his, her life here and on the back it's really different front and back I am always saying that I love that you've seen that on my previous videos I'm sure it's really a 3d 3d figure in the map or in the, in the arena so let's start with stitch I'm gonna find stitch here okay and here on the side the things we don't need now here here and there's stitch stitch is a very small character as you can see and he only has seven life maximum <laughs> double gun and stitch yeah skill here he has a skill here which is banish a card from your hand to remove up to one status effect on stitch so you can sacrifice a card from your hand which is very bad but you can clean um a bad, bad status effect and then there's a constant ability here whenever stitch takes three or more damage it gains two tough so he automatically generates an armor when he takes a lot of damage when stitch deals damage to a rival that rival gains two no punch bags so when he hits he becomes immune to that character that sounds like something strong indeed if stitch has no odd number of life it, sorry, if Stitch has an odd number of life, it deals 3 damage. If he has an even number, it deals 4. Okay, so there's a random thing here that may happen on this damage. The same thing here. Oh, oh so is the strategy always going to be this? Depending on the kind of number you have on life, you get different things. Move 3 spaces, and if he's adjacent to at least 12 allies, you shuffle. Oh, so you can discard them from your power and then you can shuffle them back here with oh, 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 Juana means family. Stomp the ground. Okay, till damage and then you can either gain life or you can gain an additional action. Plasma cannon, attack on range and then you can divide between two rivals or three rivals in damage. So that's the strategy for Stitch here. You can see it's let me see how much life do I have and then it applies different effects for damage and punch back okay stitch that was stitch then okay. then why why don't we go to Mohana here because it's all she's already assembled Mohana okay so Mohana she can sail across the sea if there are two or fewer ocean tiles in the area ocean oh wow, look at that the ocean tiles so she brings the ocean into the game if there are two or fewer ocean tiles in the arena place an ocean tile in an occupied adjacent space okay and why do you need that whenever you place and when she goes upgraded she becomes the master wayfinder 
Whenever you place an ocean tile in the arena, you may look at the top two cards of your deck. Put each of those cards back in any order. Okay, just scrying your deck whenever you put an ocean theme. But let's see what she can do with the ocean. Crushing waves! If there are two of your ocean tiles, you place one. For each ocean tile in the arena, deal one damage to each rival adjacent to that tile. Okay, so if this is becoming starting to look like the cauldron that we've seen on the Horn King. Chosen by the ocean, if there is at least one ocean tile in the arena, deal three damage to an adjacent rival. Then, if there are two, one also recovers two. Then, if there are three, she gains one life. Okay. The more you have, the more you gain. Move one space, choose up one rival, deal one damage to each rival for each space Moana has traveled this turn. Hmm. And why would she give more? Because she can move uh, this turn, so she can move a lot and then deploy the damage in the end. If there are two of few ocean tiles, place one and you move three spaces. So if you move three spaces, and then you use this, you move one more and you deal four damage. Move three spaces, recover for each ocean. Or strike, deal three damage to an adjacent. If one has moved four or more spaces, deals four instead. And you can do that by moving. How can she move four spaces? And then still use this card. She can move one here. Maybe she. Is there something that I can see here that she could travel faster on the water or something? Move to air basis. Because it seems like there should be. It's looking like she can. If there are two. Maybe on the manual. We are missing something here. Arena tiles. Uh -uh -uh. No. Ah. When an oceanic character. Okay, so yeah. She is an oceanic character. When an oceanic character moves through or onto that character, if that character is the active character, remove this tile from the arena. That character somewhere may add one space to that character's board movement. Okay. This tile has no effect for non oceanic. Maybe Ariel from the corsets he is also an oceanic so you can this is like a free movement you can just jump through that's why she will deal damage based on the number of movements makes perfect sense but it's not explained on the cards just on the map then last davy jones davy jones from pirates of the caribbean bad guy from the second movie i guess just appears here out of nothing and his skill is one ally gets two curse so he can curse I don't remember what curse is sorry I need to check the base game manual if David John is cursed why would you be cursed he is already cursed because he's an octopus whenever an ally with curse deals damage one of your rivals one or more rivals, Davy Jones recovers. Okay, so he's cursed, allies are cursed, and then you get life if everyone is cursed. At the end of the starting phase on Davy Jones' turn, choose any space in the arena, deals three damage to each rival on it. Each rival on it. You can have more than one person in a tile. Mm, in a space, okay. I have deals three damage to each rival on or within ah oh, within one i should have just read one more second and the answer was that then flip this card over okay so it only happens once you choose one three damage there like satellite damage and then expands to your friends oh he's also an oceanic guy oh and lilo stitch is also an oceanic guy here as well so yeah that's a huge combo for these three guys here because they will all benefit from turning the tide. I never noticed that this was well intended here. Okay, cool. So I guess they will become very strong if you team them all together, the team Oceanic. Was that the reality from the previous expansions? I need to notice that. 
if if they all work together they combo within themselves well but the only benefit here with these guys would be if you use at least moana which brings the ocean tiles because if not i'm not just for now i'm not seeing any other combos drag below david jones and each adjacent rival against two curse okay that's how he gets cursed david jones deals one damage to himself and to each allies is dragging them below so both suffer the black spots i don't remember this from the movie david jones gets cursed david jones will be always cursed at the beginning of your ending phase each rival dealt damage this turn gets cursed what is the black spot no callus matters deal three damage when adjacent rival up to two characters with curse recover one do you fear defeat deal to damage to an adjacent rival equal to the number of characters with curse plus two wow so many curse around that should be that should be nice to see forbidden treasures david jones gets cursed draw a card then draw another card for each character on your team with cursed wow that could be a lot while your team has maximum two or three rights up David Jones and each other, oh, see this one, recruit from the Fallen. If you have Kyo, Kyo the character, gain. How should I have Kyo the character and play this? Maybe before, gain one life point and place that character in the arena in an unoccupied space adjacent to David Jones. Restore all that character's life, that character gains three curves and deals two damage to each of its adjacent rivals. Those rivals each gain two curves. What the hell is this? How can you Kyo a character? Before using your action, maybe with the skill? No. Um, yeah, I'm a bit lost here. Sorry, this game, this game is not Easy. I've said that many times in the corset video. This is not a children's game. The mechanics here can go to a very complex level. So I'm trying to understand how this works. If you have killed the character, gain one point, then place that character in the arena. In so this needs to happen when you kill, right? Because otherwise, the character will just respawn. The rival will just respawn on their base. So how can you kill character? Restore all of the character. Uh, okay. Maybe you can attack twice. I need to check that. Because I'm, I'm I think we only have like one movement, one attack, one action, attack, and one skill. So maybe I'm wrong here. So I'll need to figure that out. Maybe if you know the answer, please leave that on the comments because I'm not curious. This is what you get, the curses, the punch backs, and the ocean tiles as we've seen. And that's it. There you go. Turning the tide. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Consider subscribing, especially if you like Disney. Oops. Especially if you don't hit the camera. <laughs> Sorry for that. Especially if you like Sorcerer's Arena, I'm going to bring all the content as well as board games or card games in general and, and, and match if you like and match then I'm a, i have a full dedicated playlist with all that content for a match thank you and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye